I've decided I'm leaving Shortland Street and moving to the States. It's time. What the hell was that, Eddie? Now, I am telling you to back off. You never, ever come to this house again. In fact, you never contact me again. You got under your skin. How long have you been standing there? Two seconds. <sighs> Sorry, I didn't mean to snap. Who are you talking to? Another officer. He's making mistakes. It makes more work for me. I'm sick of it. Well, we all can't be as brilliant. Don't let him worry you. Don't you worry about me. Ah, oh, I bet that's Lily. She's um, been calling non-stop. Yeah, go for it. Lily! Okay, then the taking's going to safe, ready for the bank tomorrow. And don't forget to set the alarm. And if a waiter dares talk to me, off with his head. Talk is fine, back chat is not. So I don't think you should have fired Brian. I was so embarrassed. You have to toughen up, Soph. The staff need to know his boss. Right, so strike fear in the hearts of our humble workers. Got it. They'll respect you in the morning. Yeah, if I make it through tonight's shift. No, I have complete faith. Thank you. And for sticking up for me today. Hey, you're welcome, wifey. Mm -hmm. I'm still married. Sophie hasn't run your business into the ground then. Ha-ha. <laughs> <laughs> How did the early lunch setup go? What do you want? Your laptop. I uh, borrowed it the other day and I forgot to save some of my uni stuff to my flash drive. Okay, it's upstairs. Are you all right? Yeah, totally fine. Sure, Panda Eyes. You should take a nap. Yeah, after I get your laptop and after I finish my assignment. Okay, well, can you give us two minutes? We're in the middle of something. Oh, yeah, sorry. It's the end of day routine. Sophie's shutting up shop tonight. <laughs> take five. Sophie needs all the help she can get. <coughs> She's moving to America. Why didn't anyone ring me? She only just rang me. Spur of the moment decision, apparently. The fastest in history. It's a little minx. Where is she now? Uh, the IV with Mum and Gerald. And you're not there because? Someone had to pick JJ up. Ben was going to be there. So avoiding Ben takes precedence over your sister leaving. Nice. I thought you were seeing that Isaac guy. Actually, um... Uh... Kind of seeing someone else now. Mm, here we go. Here we go what? God, this is a bit of fun. Who is he? His name's Doug. He's a detective. He's also Tracy's brother. Now, as long as you're having fun. I am. Though he is working on a pretty hard-out case at the moment. This was strung out. It's understandable. Actually, I um, might go around and see him say hi. Could it wait till tomorrow? Why? Well, if you're not going to go to the IV, I thought I would. See our monkey of a sister, if this thing with Duck's not serious. Oh, no, no, no. It's not. Oh, of course, sure. That's fine. My girl's last hurrah. Uh, it's not a death march, Mum. It's Milwaukee. Might as well be the moon. Are you sure you've thought this through properly? Yes, I have. And it hit me. Why was I going to train people to facilitate this huge change in how the health system is managed when I could do it myself? Well, what about a work permit? Green card? The DHB have sorted me a temporary work permit, so I've got at least six weeks. Time enough to dazzle the Americans with my skills so I get sponsored for a visa. Well, I still think you could have done the temp thing and come back after six weeks, then this wouldn't all be so rushed. I'm still going to pay you six weeks' rent in advance. That makes everything better, does it? I'm going to go get the first round. He's going to miss you. We all are. And I'm going to miss you guys too. So much. Can't you just be happy for me? As long as you're doing this for the right reasons. What do you mean? The whole redundancy issue and me threatening to quit. Oh, you keeping your job is just an added bonus. This is a purely selfish decision. It's time I spread my wings and learn to fly. Then join the Air Force. <laughs> oh. The expression shooting oneself on the foot springs to mind. Six weeks, I thought it was doable. How did I know she'd pack up permanently? Now, there is the face of a man banging his head up against a blank page. 
Ah, oh, correction. A page with two lines on it. Yeah, and both of them suck. <sighs> Mate, there's no point in flogging a dead brain. Why don't you call it a night? It's due tomorrow. Well, I'm sure your lecturer will give you an extension. He already has. And with my other courses at uni, my AMBO shifts... And the medication, yeah. Every uni student lives their life on extensions. Don't feel bad. It's as much the culture as binge drinking and toga runs. Both of which are so me. Mm. So, mate, can I get you anything? No, thanks. I better just get on with this. All right, mate. With spring well advanced, Mother Bear is spending longer periods of time away from the clearing. This leaves the cub... <laughs> I should probably question how you found out where I live, but do I really want to know the answer? Phone book. Even a detective knows when to stick to the basics. Fair enough. Nightcap? Uh, not for me. Uh, really night. Well, JJ's asleep, so as long as we... Actually, I think we need to talk. Uh, uh, <laughs> I think it's best we quit while we're ahead. I thought we were having fun. As this case gets closer, I get more strung out. And, well, you don't want to be a part of that. That's why this is good for both of us. All work and no play. Makes sense right now. So, that's it. You're awesome, and I wish things could be different. That, not. Have you been up all night? Hang on. Done and dusted. Nice work, Hunter. <sighs> yes, gold star for me, gold star, and then sleep. The sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous systems. Whoa, tricky stuff. No, no, no. What's wrong? Tricky stuff is turning the page over. <sighs> I missed the second segment of the assignment. Stupid! What time is it due? Midday? OK, breathe. I can do this. OK, well, maybe we could do something. Thank you, but I've got this far on my own. Coffee? Your dad could put it in an IV. Uh, thanks, but my sympathetic nervous system is supporting me for now. Fight or flight mode, eh? Give me some credit. I work in a hospital all day. <laughs> Just don't burn yourself out, mate. Just let me get through these next few hours and then you can patronise me all you like. Can I leave a bunch of these with you? Yeah, how's the show going? Good crowds and we're getting some laughs. Are you going to come? Uh, yeah, Kieran and I are hoping to make it on the final night. Coolness. Oop. Hello, the IV bar, Sophie speaking. Uh, he's actually busy at the moment, but I'm his partner. Can I help? Loyal flush. And is that including delivery? No, um, that sounds great. Yes, half an hour. Okay, thank you. Bye. Let me guess. Loot paper. And other bathroom supplies. And they're way cheaper than our current supplier. Have you ever seen any of their stuff? No, I've never even heard of them. Caveat emptor. What's that supposed to mean? Let the buyer beware. We got some trial paper cups, the sugar ones. Instant paper mache. Just add water. Well, they're gonna bring me over some samples, so... Try before you buy. Okay. Any other buying pearls you're wanting to pull out? Bye-bye, <sighs> business check. And if Callum needs a corporate cab... This feels weird. Oh, the seat adjustment is just here. Oh, no, I mean, this is your seat. And now your seat is going to be a million miles away. Don't start, Mum. We've got a lot to get through. Oh, it's all in here. Anything I'm fuzzy on, Gerald and I will work it out. Oh. Did you catch up with him this morning? No, I know he's angry with me, but can't he just wait to have a hissy fit once I'm gone? I want a proper goodbye. I know. We're all very proud of you, you know. Thank you. I mean it. All that you have achieved in your career, your father would have been so proud. So am I. <laughs> oh. 
As for my very successful love life. Oh, another good reason to go. <laughs> Goodbye to all the Chris Warners. Oh, all the Karen Mitchells. <laughs> and where was he with all the free champagne last night? It was the least he could do. So, Libby, this is it. Almost. Gonna miss you. Oh, don't worry. I put Mum into the advanced PA football class. <laughs> I meant you personally as well. So, you got time for a coffee? Oh, off you go. Enjoy your last day. No, I meant you as well. Come on, come on. Uh, you didn't have to do this. Oh, so you could just sneak out the back door. Libby Jeffries, I'm a port. <laughs> you better email me every day. I will. So is it just Libby leaving or is something else flown up your nose? <sighs> your brother, actually. I did tell you not to get involved with him. Yeah, well, no issues there. You break things off with him. He broke up with you. Hey, no strings. That was the deal. Well, maybe you like strings more than you think. Maybe we should just change the subject. Sorry. I'd stay away from Mum right now. She's a little put out at the lack of free bubbles last night. Well, I would have if I'd known. I really hope you're happy, Lynn. Well, I plan to be. And I hope you are, too. And Sophie, don't you dare give her a reason not to be. Mm -hmm. My turn. Though we pretty much covered it all <laughs> yesterday. Thank you for everything. You don't deserve what I did to you. Oh, but you know what? If he hadn't, then I wouldn't be able to do something like this. Something for me. Glad I was of assistance then. <laughs> you take care and give Harry a really big hug from me. I will. Uh, we better get back in. Right. Oh, thank you, Louis. I owe you. Let's call it even. From what I hear, you're putting a really good word for me, for the DHB. For me? Hey, um, are you coming to the airport? Uh, yeah, Ashley's coming in early to cover. Great. Can you meet me at our rancho? Just really quickly, I've got a little something for you. Guess who has come up with the most brilliant way to save money? You've replaced the staff with winged monkeys. Bathroom supplies at almost half price. Oh, which company? Loyal Flush. Uh, ooh. <laughs> Why? What's wrong with them? Uh, let's just say they're part of a past I'd rather forget. That crooked. Dare I ask how you know this? I used to deal with this guy called Pete Malloy. A wolfy with light fingers. Loyal Flush shipping containers being a particular favourite of his. I should have known there was a catch. I was just so stoked to have found a way to save money. Well, I was stoked too. So, keep thinking, couple. <laughs> It'll be here. How many years have I been an administrative executive? And you know the one thing you can always rely on? What? Other people being unreliable. Go and make sure it gets here on time. <sighs> What's going on? I organised a present for Gerald and it hasn't been delivered. What's our present? Your departure. How oh, funny. <laughs> the seventy percent of your wardrobe that won't fit in your suitcases? Deal. I did not go to Zip Hat Lab. Yes, it will. Here. Oh, <laughs> You're not oh. Oh. Sorry. Oh. Ah. I didn't see that. Ah, see, <laughs> pity the fool who underestimates the combined power of the two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, Captain Planet. <laughs> Seriously, guys. I don't know what I would have done without you, packing aside. This is why I wore my waterproof mascara. <laughs> Thank you for always being there for me. For always listening to me and loving me, even though I kept making the same mistakes. <laughs> you went alone. <laughs> what she said. All of us have made some pretty dumb, dumb mistakes. Mum included. But she's happy. She is the only mum you've got. And you're losing me, so... I'll pull my head in. We are not losing you. <laughs> and you're not losing us. And if you want to keep making the same stupid mistakes over there, we're only a phone call away. Or a plane <laughs> on your credit card. <laughs> I love you guys. <sighs> C 
Seth Knox. Jump from the second story in a block of flats. Probable bilateral fractured ankles in a compound tib and fib. GCS? 13. He's had five milligrams of IV and morphine en route. OK, call cool radiology. We're going to need a portable trauma view. Please us, please. Oh, the uh, police aren't far behind us. Was he trying to do a run-up? Not from them. It's all I can make out. Cheers. Where's Knox? In recess. It's high high there, buddy. You can't talk to him yet. Where's my bloody star witness? I need to know what he saw. Later. Now, be a good boy and wait outside like all the other policemen do. Well, at least tell me if he's going to be OK. He'll need surgery, but he should be fine. I'll let you know as soon as I know. How's that? So he's going to live? Yes. Now, out. is going to live. And when he comes to, what's he going to say? This gets traced back to me. You... Ah, I take care of it. That's all I ever hear from you, but I don't see it, do I? Well, you better get it right this time. suppliers are? No idea. We use them every week. I'm sorry. You all right, mate? I was having the freakiest dream. I think I was. Okay, I'm just going to give you some paracetamol, all right? Get your assignment in on time, mate? Only just. Oh, I had to run it into the drop box. It's going to be a solid C if I'm lucky. Well, it's over now. That's the main thing. What's wrong? Oh, my neck's sore. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my glands are up. Yeah. Have you been taking your antivirals? Yeah, of course. What if they're not working? I mean, look at me. I'm caked in sweat. My glands are three sizes too big, and you know what that means? It means you're run down. It means that my immune system's kicking in to fight an infection. HIV. Well, you don't know that. Let's just wait and see what the new tests say, all right? Well, why bother when we already know what it's going to be? I'm screwed. Look on the bright side. At least we won't have to continually explain the blonde anomaly. Hmm? Raise your head right now. Is it not with Libby? Doug. I thought you said you knew things were just casual. Yeah, no, it's, it's not that. What is it then? I saw him go off at someone on the phone yesterday, and then I saw it again just before. Well, you said he was stressed about his case. <laughs> yeah, but afterwards, he took his SIM card out, broke it, and threw it away. Oh, that's a bit odd. Maybe he's trying to protect a witness or something. By destroying evidence. Yeah, that does sound a bit backwards. Mm, to me too. I'm not a cop. You could ask Tracy. <laughs> then it'd just look like I'm stalking her brother. Maybe part of you wants to find something to challenge him on since the other stuff didn't exactly go your way. Anyway, whatever he's doing, it's not really your problem anymore. I'm starting to think you'd abandon me. Well, it's the other way around, silly, but I forgive you. I can handle this from here. I thought I'd be here sooner, but actually hadn't come in, and... What is that? Ta-da! It's your present! Are you serious? Yeah, of course. What could be more appropriate? What, because our other one broke? No, because it reminds me of everything I love about you. Your noisiness and your cleanliness. <laughs> the way I spin out sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Just promise to think of me every time it agitates. <laughs> Without a doubt. I'm going to miss you so much. Me too. <laughs> you have been the one constant man in my life. And you've been the best. Oh, I love you. I love you too. 
Are we ready to go? Yep. No. <laughs> yes. the number crunching going? So far, enlightening. Mm, found a way to save us some money. $600 a week, in fact. That's fantastic. How? By cancelling payments to Tim and suppliers. I couldn't find any invoices, so I asked the staff, and apparently they went into receivership in January. Um, uh, well, obviously there's been a mix-up then. I'll, I'll call the bank yeah, Except the payment started in February, which makes me think that this new account under Timmins' name was created by you. So what is it? Tax dodge. Please don't lie to me, Kieran. You've put other people's names on accounts before, which makes this all the worse. Did you forget the trouble that Sean put us through? How we had to pay him off just to keep him. Please don't tell me that this has something to do with him again. How could it? Regular payments from your account to another, conveniently starting up when he left. I mean, what's the bet that this money's being accessed somewhere else? Anywhere else? Are you sending money to Sean? Why are you supporting a murderer? Once you know the truth... I don't want to talk to you, Karen. What do you do with it? Get on the phone and call the police. Shortland Street. Next, TV2.